What's up guys, today I am doing wide angle portraits using a 24 millimeter lens using the FJ200. For this first shot, I know for sure I want to get the lighthouse in the shot. We got this beautiful texture here, but I see some problematic areas. It's going to be difficult to get some of the lighting in position that I want. So this is where a nice portable light like the FJ200 with a deep umbrella, the 24 inch, comes in the clutch. I'm able to work in these nice little compact areas, and I figure that that setup is going to work out great in order to get this first wide angle shot. Now that we got the final shot, one of the things I reflected on was when you're shooting wide angle portraits is trying to keep the subject within the frame. And one of the struggles that I had is we have a lot of people here at the specific lighthouse. So just being patient and just really slowing down and just trying to get the subject placed in the frame because when you're shooting 24 millimeters, which I don't do a lot, you wanna make sure that they're right in the middle so that you don't get too much distortion. And the technique that I was utilizing a lot was the light was in the frame a lot of the times. And so what I'm doing is I'm doing a template shot. I'm doing a two photo process where the light is gonna be in the frame. And then I tell my assistant Marco to remove the light on the template shot. And then in Photoshop, I then remove it using layer masks. For this second shot, I saw this beautiful texture and I knew immediately that I was gonna use that as a foreground element to capture the texture, but also use it as a leading line. So I wanted the subject to interact with the environment, standing up and just working the shot. You know, once again, trying different angles, seeing what I could come up with and trying to keep her right in the middle of the frame. And after I got that second shot, I wanted to get another look and just by simply having her go from standing up, I saw that there was a nice platform that maybe she can sit at. And so I'm always trying to see how many different looks can I get in one nice little area. And so that was probably my favorite shot, which was this third shot, having her sit down and once again, trying to go for really edgy poses, trying to get nice sharp angles with the poses. One of the key ingredients to making this shot work is communication with your assistant. So knowing that we're using a small portable setup, I love my, my fallback plan is when I want nice even lighting is go butterfly lighting. And so making sure I tell my assistant Marco, try to get it as close as possible without showing up too much into the frame. And so that was like really important. And you might think like, this is a really like difficult shot. It, it's not as difficult as you might think. Just boom it over the subject and just be patient and just capture that shot. All right, guys, let us know in the comments section what was your favorite shot. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.